Was, was tremendous and obviously uh, Hubert wanted you guys to throw the first punch and that's exactly what you did. Can you speak on that? Yeah, I mean, I think it, it gave us great momentum. Um, I think we had to lead the entire game. I think it set the tone for how we felt and, and how we were going to play tonight. And um, being able to, to come in here and throw the first punch is always a big thing because you want to try and take the crowd out of it, um, make a statement early, and we did that. And look, they're, they're a good team. They made runs. And we were able to withstand them, which is uh, even harder. So you, Mark, you were, you were, from the word go, you were freezing. You mouthed the word, the camera crazy. You're, you're shushing them. Why was it so like important for you, maybe, to have that emotional, demonstrative edge out here tonight? That's just who I am, man. I, I can't control it. Um, <laughs> it. It's just I love playing in these environments. Um, I love being in front of the fire. I love it, and I know these guys love it too. And that's what makes us such a. Uh, connected group is we just share in that and we love to compete yeah. and it's nothing better than playing alongside your best friends. So what is it about this still in warm ups or uh, early in the game where you provoked at all or anybody say anything that made you look over there? Peace was to be. <laughs> no, I was just going in the, in the general direction. Um, and listen that it's not uh it's not personal. It's just that's just who I am. I'm a fiery guy. And that's, what, that's what you come. Come back, Ryan. <laughs> messing up the video. That's what you come here to do uh, is, is to play in front of these fans in these environments and just feed off that. And I, I sure do, and I know these guys do too. What is it about this place that kind of seems to bring out the best of you? Because you you won here with Notre Dame and scored a 28, and now tonight. Could tell you. Could tell you. I wish I could play more games here. <laughs> Cormac, that three you hit at the end with the shot clock running down late in the second half, uh, this looked like that, you were a pretty contested shot there for you. Can you take us back through that play and, and how it was defended? Yeah, I mean, we drew up a good play. Credit to Coach Davis and, and Coach Fred for drawing up a, a, a really good play. They got me a good look. Um, it was pretty contested, but I was feeling good, and I knew we needed a bucket at that time. Um, it was delivered on time on target. I think RJ threw it to me, and um, Armando set a great screen, and I was able to knock it down. Kirby was telling us you had the most points against Duke by UNC players since Antoine Jameson, the most points here since Hubert in 92. What did, what did numbers like that mean to you, considering the names that have come through this program? I mean, it's, it's amazing. Like, this place is so special, and I've only been here for eight months, and I've, I've gotten welcomed by everybody. Um, I'm loved. I feel the love from the program, um, and the, the history of the program speaks for itself. So to be able to, to leave a leave a mark, to be in the banner, the regular season, all by ourselves, um, yeah, it's tremendously special for this group. And this is what we wanted to do. It's a box we wanted to check coming into the season, and I'm just so proud of our group, and, and I'm so so happy to, to be alongside these guys. On that, on that. You have a sense for being here for just eight months, just how how this rivalry, people are remembered for how they perform in this game and what your 31 points are going to mean historically. Man, honestly, I just I want to be remembered for, for 17 and 3 in the league. Um, I want to be remembered for taking not just a share, but the whole thing of the regular season title, um, especially after a year that you know a lot of people doubted Carolina last year. A lot of people wrote them off. Um, and we knew how special this group was, and, and that's really what I want to be remembered about this night is that we're walking out of here with the W, and we're walking out of here with the whole the, the whole damn regular season title. Cormac, to be able to get to be able to get this for to check this box for RJ and Armando with what they've been through. Hubert was saying that the locker room was obviously super happy, guys jumping up and down. Like, to be able to do it for RJ and Armando, what? What's the meaning there, and how special does that sort of the, the special touch does it add? Yeah, I mean these guys are are legendary Tar Heels. They've been here for four years and five years apiece. They have tremendously storied careers, and they're not new to winning in here either. And they are professionals. They're amazing teammates. They're amazing players. And so. 
for me to do my part and, and win and try and help win this game for us, both of those guys and the whole team included. At what point did you know? At what point did you know you had a goal? Was it the first one, the second one, the third one? I'd probably say the third one when Elliot really, I mean, tremendous hustle play. He's psychotic, out the he's ball. sick in the head. <laughs> Take him to a mental hospital. <laughs> <laughs> that was over. Um, um, yeah, Elliot dug out the loose ball and I just picked it up and, and just shot it and it felt good coming off my hand. I knew I had a Cormac, thanks. Appreciate it. He tricked me. I mean, you were telling him. I thought he did. I thought he did. You know, it's a basketball, you know, I mean, I'm not sure if it was a basketball player or not. I haven't really seen the video, but, you know, I'll see it. Too. What happens when you say this team, you just play some of your best basketball? Today? Yeah. I mean, I like, the last time you played against them. I feel like uh, we're one of those teams that we all have a chip on our shoulder and we all rise to the occasion. I feel like it's a big game and they're all ready to go. We weren't scared to come into Duke. I mean, this is the game that we look forward to. This is the reason we came to Duke. What memory will stand out to you when the buzzer hits zero and you go over to Cormac, the and Cormac Ryan, man. 31. <laughs> career high. Last game he was in here at 30. Came back in here at 31. Yeah, I'm excited, like the same amount of points as how old he is, but that dude, <laughs> <laughs> that, dude was, that dude was tough. And Elliot's buzzer beater too, I feel like that was, you know, it's kind of cool to see Elliot hit that buzzer beater. I feel like it kind of looked like when Marcus Page hit that buzzer beater with a double clutch. Was There's a little bit like a couple of those late buzzer beaters and shot clocks that beat you guys right now. Uh, 100%. I mean, now you got one to go your way. It's good that you have the ball go our way this time. Harrison, how much of a tone setter were the first two Cormac threes? He shot them both from the same spot back back, please. How much of a tone setter? You know, I feel like it's just the confidence that he has. Um, it's been up and down season for all of us. You know, that's, that's basketball. You know, good games, bad games, good shoot nights, bad shoot nights. But he's one of the most confident guys, that, confident guys I've ever met in my life. And whether he's shooting bad or not, he's gonna let it fly. You didn't get hit with any water or ice, did you? Yeah. I got hit with water, ice. I got hit with a gumball. Yeah, I was like, who has a gumball? But like, you know, it was all. Uh, did it feel good at all? Like refreshing? That yeah, water? it was. It was lit. I was just talking. We were talking crazy. <laughs> it was fun. Harrison, they cut it to forty-three, forty-two. Jeremy hit that three. And the place was about as loud as it was all night. Hubert said that he was pretty ticked off. He kind of reasserted y'all's assertiveness essentially after that. You went on 9 1 run. Right. What happened during that 9 1 run? And what was it about what Hubert said that helped inspire that? I feel like we picked our pace back up. I feel like we were slowing the ball, slowing the game down. We are getting rebounds. And instead of pushing, we have fast guards. We play small ball. We're kind of slowing it down. And, you know, we got back to our secondary break, pushing the ball, getting the ball inside the Mondo and just dominating. We got uh, Kyle with a Three fouls early in the second half, and you know, we kind of dominated from there. As good as you guys were early, was that maybe the key stretch of the game? One hundred percent. I mean, it, it's their gym. It's a big gym, big time environment. We knew they were going to run eventually, whether it was first half, second half. I mean, they're a really good team too, and they weren't just going to let us, you know, beat them by twenty. I mean, we knew they were going to run this game. Cormac looked, Cormac looked like he was pointing at one specific person as he was walking past the fans. Was there one specific person who got to him? I not that I know. I'm, I'm asking him to see. Thanks for telling me that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't see that. Hey, well, take, us, take us inside the locker room when you guys got got done with this, and, and you're not having to share the title. Mm -hmm. You know, and you guys said you didn't want to share it. Like, oh. what was it like down there? Is is you know you came off the court. You know, it was kind of the same scene as every other way. We go in there, we're dancing. You know, we're telling Cormac he's him. Cormac's sick in the head. You know, Cormac is. This is best game ever. I mean, career high, the national stage against Duke. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better night than that for him. And, you know, for us, it just felt good to secure that title. And you know, what else could we have asked for coming to UNC? I mean, UNC Duke last game of the season for the title. I mean, what else could we have asked for? Was what is that psycho earlier in the day that like let you know that maybe this was going to be a night like this for him? Say it one more time. Was there anything from Cormac earlier in the day that like told you like, hey, like he might have a heater tonight? Nothing specifically. I mean, he kind of has the same routine. He suits the same shot, same exact routine after shoot around, before shoot around, and before the game. Maybe that's the same thing, you know, some this night versus night. Where does that psycho sick or sick in the head stuff come from? What, what, what does he do that, that you guys are all <laughs> saying? His intensity, you know, he's always intense. You know, people are always asking me, like, where does he get that intensity from? And I'm always saying, like, he's just an intense guy in general. So, you know, I feel like, personally, I think he's a psycho. Like, I'm a little scared of him. He does that <laughs> thing. When was the first time that you saw him do that? No. Like, sticking the tongue out after hitting a shot? I mean, if I feel like in the Bahamas, that's whenever he started doing that, whenever we got into a pretty heated battle against Villanova, and then ever since then, it's kind of been his little celebration. When did you guys start saying he was sick in the head? I've, I've always, since I first met him, the first day I met him, I thought he was sick in the head. <laughs> that's off the court, too? <laughs> that's just, a, he's just an intense guy, and he's one of those guys that, you know, you never really, like, any, everything's a competition to him, no matter what it is, whether you like, eat drinking water, I mean, first to get on the bus, first to get off the bus, like, everything for him is a competition. Yeah, but you're pretty intense too, just a different kind of intensity. I'm, a, I'm a, like more of a laughy intensity. He's more of like a serious, kill you intensity. <laughs> Right, Harrison, isn't that what a team needs? They need a sick of that guy, sort of a screw you kind of guy. You, you do that, but, mm -hmm. but Cormac does it as well. 
Hundred percent. I mean, I feel like it brings a fire to the team, especially with guys who you know, RJ and Mono are talented as all get out on the basketball court, but you know their demeanor is a little bit more chill and, and monotone and you know whenever you get me and Cormac who are out outward personality guys, you know, extroverts and we bring the team up and bring energy up. Did you envision kind of getting along with him because of that, or do you think you can clash because of that? I, mean, I didn't know him coming in, so I had no idea what it was going to be. But, you know, I, I love it. I mean, I love personalities. I love everyone's personality. I mean, whether you're intense or not, whether you're chill or not, whether you're quiet or talking to my flag and get along with everybody. Amaro was saying how this is the first year where Amaro was saying how this is the first year Hubert Davis has had a team that really matches his personality. Mm -hmm. What would you describe that personality in a few words, and how important has that been to help UNC win its first regular season share? I think, first and foremost, off the court, um, great guy, you know, and, uh, give it back to the people, respectful to everybody, no problems off the court. I feel like everybody on our team is, you know, good people, and you can find one bad thing to say about anybody on our team. And on the court, you know, we kind of flip a switch and we turn into intensity, you know, competitiveness. We don't want to lose, and we have a chip on our shoulder no matter who we're playing. This Any is everyone's years? title, obviously. Thank but you. For RJ and Armando, who have been through the ups and the downs here and experienced a ton, mm -hmm. for you personally, what does it mean to be able to help them win this and sort of, you know, get UNC back up to the top of the ACC for, for those guys? I mean, it means the world to me, man. Whenever I was in the portal and they were uh, recruiting me to help the coaches, reaching out to me, it's the same picture that they had. And, how they just wanted to win, and they didn't really care about points, stats, or whatever you want to call it, but they just want to win. And, you know, RJ's having a great year, player of the year, in my opinion. It should be all opinions, but in my opinion, it's player of the year. And Our votes about, are due tomorrow, by the way. Give it to them, please. Okay. We'll see what we can do. What does the Virginia oh, he's the state game? Also, 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 let me finish. Let me, let me, let me. Yeah, and Armando, <laughs> and Armando um, you know him, you know, he's a great player. He's a great guy off the court. You know, smart dude, businessman. And, you know, for him to get this win, you know, they're telling us how big of a game this is going to be and how little it's going to be, and, you know, everyone's ready to go. Any moments from Hubert staying out this yeah. season in terms of just his overall intensity? Like, would you say that there was a moment that you saw him as most intense? I would say the two, game, two days leading up to this game, you know, just yeah. kind of making sure we're all locked in because, you know, it would be easy to come into this game thinking, relax, thinking we have no pressure because we had the title no matter what. And, you know, he, we didn't want to share it, he didn't want to share it, and I feel like, you know, his energy rubbed off on us from the get-go. I mean, he didn't come out happy that we had won against Notre Dame. I mean, he honestly didn't really care. We didn't even talk about that game. We went straight to Duke. What about the, the, state game, the state game, the Virginia game of tonight? It really showed that you don't need RJ to, to go off because there's so many weapons. Can you talk about that dynamic and the chemistry? I feel like that's the specialness of our team. You know, it doesn't really matter who gives off, and we don't really care who goes off. You know, Cormac's nice. You know, we're going to give the ball to Cormac. It's my night. Give the ball to me. RJ's like, give it to ball to RJ. Mondo's like, give the ball to Armando. And I feel like that's what makes us dangerous and what's made us a really good team is our chemistry and who normally cares against the shot. Harrison, the, the, it looked One like. after this. It looked like Philip Halsky tripped me. Um, <laughs> To me, what did it look like to you? And did I haven't you think, seen it yet. Okay. Did you think that was a dirty play? I mean, on the court, I did. I definitely was a little upset, but uh, I don't want to say anything too soon until I see what happened. What did Teddy say? You, last one. Yeah, what did Teddy say to you when you when you, you went to the ref? Who's Teddy? Teddy Valentine. Oh, that's the, the ref. Yeah. Okay. Um, you were doing he, this. He was like, he was like, he didn't see it. And I was like, what, what do you mean you didn't see it? Like, were you watching the game? And he was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Harrison. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you uh, in.